it's not life. We're just exiling the cards. Pay two life. Mill two. Pay two life. Surveil two to the graveyard. Pay two life. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have another Ashiok deck. Now, I know, I know, I know. Before you click away, before you click away, I know you think I've beat Ashiok into the dirt, but this time it's with a really cool combo, okay? So just let me show you the deck list first, and then you can decide for yourself. So this deck is relatively simple to play. All you need to get are these four cards in the graveyard. <laughs> And you need to have this in your hand. All right. So Mizzix Mastery is going to exile a card from our graveyard and enable us to cast it. All right. We're always going to have to cast Eerie Ultimatum. Eerie Ultimatum returns any number of permanent cards with different names from our graveyard to the battlefield. We need to get back Jace, Ashiok, and Doom Whisper. All right. Jace is the win condition just strictly off the passive. If you were to draw a card while you have no cards in your library, you win the game instead. Pretty cool, right? Now, Doom Whisper, you may be thinking, what? Pay two life, surveil two. Now, surveil two, you just put two cards in your graveyard, kind of cool. But paired with Ashiok, the new one, if you would pay life while your library has at least that many cards in it, exile that many cards from the top of your library instead. So we're not going to lose life whenever we pay two life. From Doom Whisper. So if we have all of these cards out, cast Mizzix Mastery, target Eerie Ultimatum, we get everything out. We're going to pay two life. So it's going to exile two. And then we're going to surveil two into our graveyard. We're going to do it over and over and over and over and over again until we literally have zero cards in our library. And then at that point, we just do the plus one of Jace, which is target player mills two card and you draw a card. And since we're going to draw a card, we win the game instead of losing the game. It's a pretty fun combo. Uh, it's a lot like my other Mizzix Masteries combos. It's just a little bit weirder and obscure because, I don't know, Ashiok just kind of enables some weird things, and this is fun. Uh, and then we just have a ton of things that put stuff in the graveyard, and that's really all you need. Plain and simple. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the Twitch subs and YouTube members. You do get a lot of benefits from it. So if you want to know what you can get outside of being immortalized in all of these videos, then go ahead and hit that join button to see all the benefits. Or you can go over to twitch.tv slash striderstone and hit that sub button. Use your free Twitch Prime sub. I have some of the best emotes on Twitch if you watch over there, so don't forget that. But again, I do really appreciate all the support, even just watching the videos. It all helps. Now, this particular deck is a fun combo. It is a brand new Mizzix Mastery combo with the Eerie Ultimatum. I've done them a lot. You, If you're a seasoned veteran of the channel, you've probably seen it a bunch, but this one uses a lot of cards that I don't ever use in any deck. Uh, so it's hard for me to say if I will be using a lot of these cards going forward. So if you build a lot of my decks, maybe hold off on this one. It is going to set you back 37 rares and eight mythics. But if you want the deck list and click on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video, it'll send you on over to the Aether Hub page. Or if you want the direct link to it as well, you can get that in the pinned comment. Or if you just want the text-based version, That'll be in the description below. But the best thing you could do for the channel, of course, is share the video with somebody you think you would like them. I would appreciate it a lot, and I'm sure they would too. But then, of course, to all the YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Stay salty, and enjoy the games. I don't know if this deck is going to work at all, but it'll be funny if slash when it does. The last deck performed nicely. The Eldraziologist. I must send this to Ali Eldrazi. Because. All right. Sure, we can do that. 
As long as they don't have Graveyard Exile, we're probably okay. I forget that every single land in here is a tap land. Um, I have two cards to put in the graveyard right now, so I, there's no need for me to scry yet. I do like that. So the butler is really good here because whenever it enters the battlefield, you mill three cards, and then when it dies, you can exile if you do return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. We don't really care about that, but it, uh, it is a one, two that mills three. And we can sack for two mana, which we also like. Don't really need that land. Um, we need some other stuff in the graveyard. It's a good card to have in the graveyard. Still not quite what we need, but you know. If almost everything we need. Do we have any basics in this deck? Is this this is a deck that I don't have any basics. I can't believe I didn't even listen to my own. This is a deck I was using for like testing purposes and I never. Shame, shame, shame. Oh, like did anything useful with it. Hmm. Not the cards we need. They can pop off at any moment now, though. Because all they need is that three mana. Oh, that's scary, too. This is going to dig harder. Go ahead and sack one of those. Um, turn a creature card. Do we have any creatures in here? Yes, Stitcher's Plier. Take action. Let's get a Stitcher's Plier. Put out one. And put out the other one. And we win next turn. Unless they board wipe. Or exile our graveyard. Or kill us. Okay. So they don't have that three mana due to Mowetchit. We have everything we need in the graveyard. Is everyone ready? Aye, aye, Captain! As long as they don't have a counter spell. Then we win. Okay, we just want to mill ourselves. And do all sorts of stuff. Cool. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna pay two life. Scry those two. We're gonna pay two life. Surveil those two. We're gonna pay two life. We're gonna surveil those two. We're gonna pay two life. And we're gonna surveil those two. We're gonna pay two life, that's one, two. 
And we're going to pay two life, exiling those. And then uh, we're going to mill two and draw a card. <laughs> yeah! The combos. We might need a search card. Maybe. It might be beneficial just to have. Because we are running green and black. Uh, so there's definitely things that we can use. There's a lot of things. Obviously in black you can... Anything. And I could probably take out like a mulch or something and... Add in some searches. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Maybe I should put in some untapped lands. That might be a thing too. I like the scry. They're doing ninjutsu. They can do this every turn because it's a flyer. They're going to have a lot of everything. Other ninja road. Okay. Uh, let's kind of just throw that down. Don't want that. Yeah, I never know if I want to scribe before I mill. Sometimes I do, and sometimes it's a hard choice to make. Because I definitely want to throw down this butler. What does that do? Base power toughness of 1-1. One, one. Uh, Ornithopter, I guess. And you're just going to ninjutsu it back to your hand and it's going to go away anyway. Wouldn't you have wanted to attack first on that? That's fine. Good cards. Let's get a nice little scry. Aerial Tomatum is amazing. Uh, we will have at least one thing. Vigilance. Uh, definitely blocking this. Absorbing some damage. Mm, let's get back to that undead butler. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. What do we have in here? Oh, we already have an aerial ultimatum. I didn't even notice that. Get an untapped land, get another blocker, do a little bit of milling. Okay, we still do not have Mizzix Mastery, and I think we're also missing almost everything. We're missing our Ashiok and our Doom Whisper in the graveyard. And then we need our Mizzix Mastery in our hand. Oh, it's not even going to absorb damage. Oh, we're screwed. Because I don't even have removal on the deck. Okay. So... Do that. 
Yeah, and we're dead. We're like one turn away. We were actually really close to coming back from that. All right, so I added in four Cruelty of Gix. I don't know if it's the best card as far as searching goes, but it may be okay. This is an okay hand. We do need a black source though. But this, with that in our hand, oh, beautiful. Black source. That'll hopefully find us a black source. Uh, I mean, if we have an untapped land somehow, we win next turn. But, like, all of our lands are untapped. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And might as well do this. Two Cruelty of Gix is there? All right. So now we just have to hope they tap out for something. Because then we can win. And that is what's important, right? <laughs> Do you think they have a negate? Doesn't seem like it. Wait, do I have everything I need? Yes. We'll make this look easy. Whatever that is. Okay. Pay to life. Pay to life. And because of Ashiok's passive, it's not life. We're just exiling the cards. Pay to life. Mill two. Pay to life. Surveil two to the graveyard. Pay to life. Uh, all right, pay to life. And pay to life. And pay to life. And pay to life. And pay to life. Boom. Decisions, decisions, decisions. That Jace passive. Gets him every time. Okay. So we decided to take out the Cruelty of Gixes and put in four Ritual of Soots. So if we're just going to die early to... <coughs> if we're going to die early to removal, it's not going to be good for us. We'll take the land. Um, I don't have anything I want to discard yet. Discard that one. That one? Now, I can play my Stitcher Supplier and then sack it for the undead butler, but then I wouldn't have anything else to play. 
because that's one mana, and then I sack it, and then it's three mana. So I can do Stitcher, Supplier, sack it for Faithless Looting? Because that's six cards, and eight cards in the graveyard in one turn. That's not bad. Um, we have to, we have to go really, really, really fast because obviously poison decks, they're going to be proliferating. Like I think when, oh, never mind. I thought when one of those died, it proliferated, but it's not one of those, but there are, they have a lot of removal cards where it's like remove it and then proliferate. It's like minus four, minus four proliferator. Something like that. It's really annoying, and it's three mana. Um, so that's why being able to sacrifice these are going to be really good. Okay, get rid of that Doom Whisper. And this, because we need the land. But we'll have the undead butler, and then we can sack that. We can basically do the same exact thing that we just did. Um, we're hoping that they don't kill this. Because I can replay a Phyrexian Tower and then do the Faithless Looting. Do we want to do that? We might actually not want to do that. Because then we don't have four mana. I should have kept up the Phyrexian Tower to sack it. I should have kept up the Phyrexian Tower, yeah. I was thinking about too many different lines and playing instead of thinking and then playing. It was more of a play and then think. Because we were just talking about it earlier, how they have the, the minus and proliferate thing. Pona is a very slow player, though. They're really leaning into the... The people hate poison, and... Okay. Uh, I didn't like that. Okay, so what do we have? Not enough. We don't have the things we need. Do need that. Let's go ahead and sack it. Didn't need that one. I guess so it's kind of irrelevant now. Hmm. We're looking for our Ashiok. Oh no. They get a Thought Seize, and then that's. Or they get something that Graveyard Exiles. 
If I was them, I would get a Bajugabog, probably. And then we lose the game. I have to sack one of these lands. We did, in fact, get the card we needed, but... We have to make sure that we're going to be holding priority on everything because so if they have creature removal if they have planeswalker removal we're super screwed Twenty cards left. They they're definitely holding a priority for something. I just don't know what yet. Uh, it's got to be for planeswalker removal. I can only imagine. They might not know what's going on though. But again, they are just really slow players, or they have been so far. Yeah, they are still roping for whatever reason. If it goes out, that's ideal for us because that means they can't do anything. Sweet. Awesome. All right. So that's an easy win now, mainly because they were just slow as... <laughs> I would assume... Yeah. There's always an answer. There's always an answer. You said it, Jace. You said it, not me. Man, I can't I can't believe that last game was only nine minutes long. It felt like eternity. When people are just super, super slow players, it always feels like an eternity. Um I believe in the top deck. I believe in the top deck, draw discard. Because it's really good. Yeah. Good card. We have basically everything we need. We just need these two in the graveyard. Okay, you're an actual dog shit human being. Okay. play this. I was not thinking straight. Not thinking straight. Do you think they have more graveyard exile?
do you think they have more graveyard exile? Um, all right, uh, so let's go ahead and get our Stitter Spire back. Shall we? And... Uh, another Citrus Fire. Like, as long as they don't... kill us... Can't risk losing a land. Draw. Resolve. Decline. Okay, I have everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't care. Don't care. And we got to do one because it has to be an even amount of cards. Uh, specifically because of the way Ashiok is worded. If you were to pay life, if you have that many cards in your graveyard. So I actually have to have that many cards. Granted, at the very end, it's negligible, but you know, it's nice just to have it available. It's nice for it to just be clean and fast, easy. Deal with it once, never have to deal with it again. As long as they don't have two mana Planeswalker removal, we're fine. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. That is correct. That is correct. That is exactly how you play the hand you're dealt. You know what? I did have fun in the match. It is kind of some of the problem with decks like these is that the games are so fast. I mean, every game is going to be like four or five minutes because you're probably either going to lose really quickly or win really quickly. So everything's just going to be like four or five minutes. You just don't have time to do anything else. It's just like, okay. LDS good times? I don't know what that means. What happened to my audio? Whoa, that was weird. Don't need land. I have two mulches. I definitely do not need land. I don't know what LDS is. Uh, don't really need that in the graveyard. Ooh, that ritual soot would have been nice. But this is a problem. We're going to have to, we're, we're going to have to do what we need to do fast, 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 fast. And it gets trample. Fuck me. Oh no, it was another one. Two soots. 
That's LDS bad times. I don't have an untapped land. I could be dead here. I need one more card in the graveyard. Okay, they didn't do anything crazy. That's nice. less nice we only need four mana so we can discard one of those if we need to we'll keep that grizzly salvage just because it will help eventually tm I can get rid of all those, but I can't get rid of Galta. And I'm at 8 HP. Right. block four damage five and then uh seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah <laughs> still dead one turn away Dang it. The first couple mills of the soot really hurt. I wasn't expecting the Galta, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting Rona, the indestructible one, where I was like, oh, I can't do anything about that. This deck probably would be a lot better if I had untapped lands. So right now I have a 0% win rate on on the draw and 100% on the play. All right. Let's do this. We need land. We like land. Um, the question is, do I undead butler before Stitcher's fire? I guess so. I feel like they're going to kill it. We have no way 
We have nothing to get back. At least, yeah. We'll mill a Stitcher, right? We won't. We did not mill a Stitcher. I will take the Faithless looting, though. Faithless is great. Oh. Didn't see that one coming, actually. if I just won here. Not this turn, but next turn. Yeah, we're gonna mill that. Do nothing with it. I need to get the sequencing of that right. The order, the Omega Low order. Do we have everything? Aerial Tomatum, Doom Whisper, Jace, and Ashiok. We do have everything. They only have one mana available. Don't think they can do anything with that. Mm-hmm. 29. So we're going to pay two life, and we're going to surveil one the first time. And we're going to pay two life. Surveil. Pay two life. Surveil. Pay two life. A surveil. They're in mono red. They don't have any legendaries, so I think we're fine right now. Yeah. We got nothing to worry about. <laughs> They're reading it. They're like, what is happening? Why are you not losing life? Let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this. We tried it and it worked. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.